If you have a gecko and you're not quite sure if your leopard gecko is albino or normal, the easiest way to tell is by looking at their eye color. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? This is Chris from Gekopia and in today's video, I'm gonna go over the albino lines. You know, I actually went over this two, about two years ago, but there are a couple of things that I didn't really like about and there are a few things that I learned over the years of breeding leopard geckos. So I'm gonna share you guys the updated information so that you guys can have more information uh, while working on these albino projects. Now, albino is one of the most popular morph that new breeders work on and it is one of the most popular ones because it is the one of the first morph that was found from a breeder whose name is Ron Tramper. Now there are three morphs. One is a Trample albino and two is the Bell albino and three is Rainwater albino. Um, they all have a different name because it was found from the different breeder and for that reason when you find a new morph in, in the past when there wasn't any morph out there for the geckos, you get to actually name the morph with anything that you want. And that is why they have all different morphs name. And usually when breeders find these morph, they used to use their last name on it. So the Bell and Tramper is actually the uh, last name from the, the founder of the morph. So that's why they have these unique name for these leopard gecko morph. The most popular one will be the tramper, so it will be more easy to find out there in the market. And if, especially if you go to morph markets, there are a ton of tramper albino leopard geckos available on the website. So um, you can skim through and look through all these geckos. But one of the key things that I would recommend if I were to go back and start with the albino lines is that I would get the one of the best quality or something that catches your eyes the most. Because at the end of the day, when you get that leopard geckos, you're gonna consistently work on multiple projects. And the cool thing about Trample Albino and Bell or Rainwater is that you can actually uh, do like a combo with other morph, like let's say Eclipse, WY, or Tangerine, or like there's a bunch of things that you can do. And just letting you know, Try not to cross rainwater with the bell or bell with the tramper or any of these albinos together because at the end of the day, when you produce hatchlings, they have very similar characteristics from each other. So it's really hard to tell which one is which. The another thing is the tramper albino, bell albino, rainwater albinos are recessive, which means when you pair albino with the normal leopard geckos, it won't just come out visual albino. The, ne the next year. Um, recessive, they do need to pair with the recessive to recessive in order to become a visual recess recessive. So if you don't pair with the visual albinos together, it won't be albino. It will most likely be um, normal, char normal characteristic leopard gecko with a hat. Hat basically means it carries the genetics, but it's a hidden inside the genetic so it won't appear outside their skin until it becomes visual recessive so the first thing that i would recommend is go with the tramper because that is the easiest uh, morph to find out there and i would get one of the best tramper if possible now i'm not gonna lie there are amazing rainwater bell albinos but it's just that they're a little bit more hard to uh, find out there compared to tramper albino. So and especially if you're new, like you don't exactly know which one's good and which one's which one's bad. So me personally, this is just my opinions. Like tramper will be the best to go with if you're thinking about doing albino projects. Now I brought this example images on the websites, um, and this is images from the gecko boa, which is one of the breeders who is well known for the leopard geckos. So the first one is going to be the tramper albino. And the second one is going to be the bell albino. And third one is going to be the rainwater albino. In the previous video, I mentioned that tramper albino has more like a brighter side of patterns compared to other albinos. But turns out after breeding them for multiple years, I saw tramper albino with the dark patterns, dark colorations as well. So from my experience, I guess they will be all looking similar sheets out there. Basically, don't rely too much on the example photos because not every albino, tramp albino, or bell albino, rainwater albino is going to look exactly the same as the image that's provided out there as an example. Also, one of the quick tips is that if you are also interested in the super giant um, leopard gecko, which is like the bigger version of leopard geckos, 
Um, I do see a lot of Tramper tends to have those super giant um, genetics. To, I, I guess they have a little bit of a correlations to each other. So if you want the super giants, most likely that gecko will have a Tramper albino genetics as well. The reason why I really like about albino lions is because when you pair the albino with any other leopard geckos morph, uh, most likely the color colorations will eventually enhance, so it will make the gecko more brighter. And especially, you will often see with a lot of white bent patterns on them, their back or on their head, and this does really go well with the colors as well. So I guess that will be the reason why people like to go with the albino projects. Now, one of the quick tips that I will give out for anyone who's getting their first leopard gecko for albino leopard geckos, whether if it's a bell or rainwater or tramper, they are more sensitive to the lights compared to the normal leopard gecko. So, which means when you're keeping them in an enclosure, I highly recommend making the lights a little bit more darker um, so that they are less stressed. If you have a gecko and you're not quite sure if your leopard gecko is albino or normal, the easiest way to tell is by looking at their eye color and eye patterns. Uh, normal leopard geckos tend to have this uh, white and black color pattern eyes and the albino tends to have a lot of those silverish white and red vein colors. That is the easiest way to tell if they're albino or normal. So just look into that when you're getting a leopard gecko and see if they're actually albino or normal. Now, there are a lot of pictures out there showing their rainwater projects and bell line projects and trample albino projects. And when you see your gecko look similar to their albino, don't just assume that gecko is basically carries that genetics. And because without knowing the history of their parents or their grandparents, it's really hard to tell which albino would that be. So if you're gonna be doing a project um, down in the road, make sure when you're, before you're getting a little big gecko, you get it from the trusted breeder who can actually prove like their images of their parents and grandparents, because without knowing any of those informations, you're not gonna know which albino that will be. Even if the example photo is out there or other breeders' photos look similar to your geckos that you are holding right now, doesn't really mean that you have the exactly same morph with theirs. So make sure when you're getting albino leopard geckos, make sure, make sure you get the information for their parents and grandparents. So yeah, over the two years while working with the Tremper Albino projects, I have been seeing there are brighter geckos with the Tramper albino and there are geckos that with the darker color. So just because the example shows you that the bell or rainwater has a more like a dark pattern, doesn't really mean the Tramper wouldn't have that dark patterns because I do have a couple of Trampers that are dark, um, like the example photos that is provided with the bell or rainwater albino. Overall, they're super easy to raise and you will often see out there pretty raw in the market, so it won't be a big deal when you're working with the Tramp Albino. And by the way, we do have a website where we show all these available geckos on our website as well. So if you're planning on getting a new gecko, you can always feel free to visit our website and check out our photos and check out our Tramp Albinos. We created this catalog where it shows which genetics it has, Black Knight, Tangerine, Tramper Albino, WY, Snows, and things like that. So you can go individual category and see which one catches your eyes the most and which seems to be the best projects for you in the future. If you wanna learn about new morphs, feel free to let me know down in the comment and I'll consistently review those morph videos for you guys. I've been slacking off a little bit with the morph videos because I, I thought I pretty much covered everything about Gecko morph, but there are more morphs that are gonna consistently come out in the future. And especially Tramper is one of the most common and, and one of the most popular morphs to work with. I decided to go over again and show you guys my personal opinion about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like the video, make sure you press that like, subscribe and share this video to any of your Leopard Gecko friends and I'll come back with another video in the future. But thank you guys all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. God love, peace out.
Hey look, if you enjoyed that video, I went ahead and picked out another special video that I know you're gonna find immensely valuable. You can find it right here. There I know you're gonna love it and I'll see you in the next one.